Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over the 10 rarest weapon skins in Apex Legends. Now, a lot of you guys probably didn't even know these skins existed or you guys have never seen them since you likely started playing Apex after they were released. So I'm gonna be listing out these 10 weapon skins that are the most rare because they have never come back to the game so only the people who really played the game early like me but i didn't get the skins were able to get those skins so now they're actually pretty rare so if you have some of these you might be in luck now as of right now none of these have been added back but there might be a chance that some of them are added back into the store in the near future i really hope not i like the aspect of having certain skins that are for ogs and really actually rare which is honestly not a huge thing in apex since it really isn't very cosmetic based like a lot of other games like CSGO where there's actual prices in an economy but these rare skins are honestly pretty nice and I'm kind of disappointed I never really looked into them and purchased them while they were in the store but let's go ahead and get right into it starting out with number 10 which is the headhunter devotion skin this is an exclusive of the lead farmer devotion skin and it was released on may 23rd and it was in the store until june 1st now on to number nine which is the retro causality r301 skin this skin i didn't even know existed until i started to do some research and i gotta be honest this is a really sick r301 skin i'm kind of disappointed i don't have it but it was an exclusive of the dynamic cycle and it was in the store from May 11th to May 17th now on to number eight which is the sea stalker triple take skin which is an exclusive of the first strike triple take skin and it was in the store from May 5th to May 11th. Now I gotta be honest, there are a lot of really cool triple take skins. Although this one is kind of rare, I'm not really too into it that much, but onto number seven, which is the Hidden Agenda G7 Scout skin, which was an exclusive of the Cold Justice skin. And it was in the store from April 27th to May 3rd. Definitely a quality skin. There are a lot of really nice G7 Scout skins. And honestly, I swear that's probably the weapon with the most exclusive skins. I honestly remember seeing a ton of exclusive G7 Scouts, but that just might be my mind playing tricks on me. But on to number six, which is the Ground Control Spitfire skin. It is an exclusive of the Flying Warhawk skin, and it was in the store from April 14th to April 30th. Now, honestly, I don't really like this skin too much, but these skins that we're getting into in the top five, I actually really enjoy all of them and kind of wish I had them. But on to number five, which is one, surprisingly, I actually really like, I'm not too sure why, but it just really appeals to me, which is the Madam Mayhem P2020 skin, which was the exclusive of the Lady Justice skin, which I have, but sadly, I didn't purchase the exclusive back when it was in this store from April 6th to April 12th. But now onto the number four rarest skin, which is another R301 skin, but this is the Pale Moonlight skin. It's an exclusive of the Daybreaker skin and was in the store from March 24th to March 30th. Now on to number three, which is the SOS Kraber skin, which was an exclusive of the Snow Piercer, and it was in the store from March 10th to March 16th. So really early, almost the first few weeks or really in the first month of Apex being out, that was one of the skins in the store and it has yet to come back. Obviously none of these skins have come back to the store yet. I say yet because they have stated previously that exclusive skins have a minimum of six months until there's a chance they can be added back into the store. However, it's been over six months by now and it still hasn't been added back or none of these have. So there is still a chance, but honestly, it's probably unlikely. Now onto the number two skin, which is a really old skin. I remember seeing this one in the store, the Fast Track Devotion skin, which is an exclusive of the Nitro Custom. And it was in the store from February 17th to February 23rd. Definitely a quality skin, and it definitely makes it a lot better the fact that it is pretty rare and one of the first skins that was ever in the store. But now on to number one, which is the original, the first exclusive in the game, the Total Eclipse 
Prowler skin. It is an exclusive of the Spacewalker skin, and it was in the store from February 13th to February 15th. So literally only three days, which is pretty insane. Not a lot of time. So a lot of people really didn't purchase this skin, and I'm not surprised. There's probably only really a handful of people out there with this skin. I wish I had it, but definitely make sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have any of these rare skins and make sure to let me know which your favorite is. I'm definitely curious and I love to hear your guys' thoughts, but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. I'm definitely looking for some more feedback on my video, so make sure to hit that like button if you guys did enjoy. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell for daily Apex videos. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go follow my Twitter at Sethly with two Ys. I keep you guys updated on everything over there. But it's me, your boy Sethly, and I'm out.